I found so today, me and Ori, as you guys know, Ori loves. Um, we're making goofy soup. Is it soup or stew? Anyone you call it. So I call it a goosey stew because I think it's a stew and not a soup. Um, we're gonna be using melon seed, as you guys can see here. It's ten dollars, okay. It's broke. Okay, we got it from the African food store. Don't wash my dry hands. Um, yeah. So we've got our spinach over there ready. Today we're using spinach. We're not using the traditional Nigerian leaves. What is it called? Because we can't find it. Right actually now. using it. Don't Sometimes we can use. Let them see my spinach ingredients, okay? Anyway, anyway, so they use a different type of leaf, but today we're using spinach because spinach is easier. Um, and this leaf, what is this leaf called, Dory? It's bitter leaf and scent leaf. Bitter leaf? Okay, so... so this is, um, I think this is bitter leaf and this is scent leaf. Okay, so do you put that in the goosey soup? Yeah, it has uh, different magic. Okay, nice. So we, we've already cut up our fresh, um, sh uh, what is it? So we've cut up our fresh... Fish, whatever. Fish. Um, we're also adding, deciding to add shrimp to our, our dish. Um, over here, he's mixed water with a goosey and let's get it on and popping. Over here we have our turkey, which I've seasoned already. And we're going to be also adding, uh, crayfish. As you guys can see, $5 at the African store. And then this is my grand, this right here is my grounded peppers with tomatoes okay it's all grounded everything good to go nice and spicy we add, actually added three peppers bonnet peppers um and tomatoes Sorry. hey what's up guys so introduce yourself i'm Hori love mm -hmm. okay i don't like to cook but i'm cooking today and um what are you gonna be showing us i will show you some magic just watch as you can see here i started off by pre-boiling my goat meat goat meat is very important to pre-boil first because it's really tough meat and i prefer our meat to be tender so the following ingredients is great for marinating overnight if you like and once you're ready to cook add a little bit of water and there you go start your boiling cook for about 30 minutes so right now we just added our turkey meat and now we're going to start boiling sleeping right now right so sometimes you sleep off um, due to the weather here yeah, right um, so it gets a little dry yeah if it's if it was hot weather then it's good but due to the weather is um, kind of and it's been exported from africa right so it's yeah. probably so it's, it's taken so it's sleeping right now mm -hmm. so i have to melt it uh, manually, don't do this at home, it's risky, okay? <laughs> Maybe for the professionals, right? Exactly. So right now he's just melting it so that it can become more of a little bit. Oh, you guys will see once it's done. Yeah. Okay, so and one thing, you don't have to do this step if you're at home. You can always just add it to your pot. Um, just squeeze it out and add it to your pot. Yeah, you can always force it out, but yeah. I like it because you make it the, the real taste of the hoi, like it comes out. It comes feel? out, right? You know? It feels it's more authentic this way. Exactly. This, you don't put it down. You just put it on top because the it thing melts. It is gonna bring the fire. I once catch fire on me, and after I was experienced. <laughs> so you know you gotta be experienced in something before you do it. Now we're heating up the pot. So it's bringing the milk out like it's bringing the spa. I don't do that. This is easy. We're going to eat it. Oh, okay. 
Don't let me be quiet. At this point, your sauce should look like this. Nice and smooth with your pieces of shrimp in there. Mmm, smells so delicious. That's the thing about Ori Love. When he's tired, he always ends up going back to his room and I always have to end up cooking. So right now, I am just taking out my fish. It should look just like that. And I'm getting them ready to fry. The fish is very tender. That's the reason why I fry it so that it doesn't break apart in our stew. Also decide to turn your heat up so that the fish doesn't absorb that much oil. 
look who's back from playing his video games and ditching me to do the cooking. Uh, so we got the fresh fish going, our bowl is still boiling, which is good, and I've lowered the heat of this. Real chefs don't leave the kitchen. <laughs> oh wait, 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 we're not there yet. We still have to cook the gravy. You're in a rush. You, this is why you shouldn't cook when you're tired and you're rushing and you're hungry. Can you say something to the camera, Ori? Um, when Ori's rushing, he just wants to put everything together at least. <laughs> He's a lazy cook. Hey, Ori. I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy. Okay. So I just finished straining the meat and the gravy from our goat, which is right over here. Oh, which is right over here. You know. So we're gonna take a moment and fry this goat meat once we're done frying the fish. So we're gonna take the goat. This is the garbage. Okay. This is the gravy that we're gonna. He thinks he looks sexy with his muscles. You need to wipe off the, the oil off your face. Look at his muscles. Shh. Look at thick, thick in that white meat, eh? Adding more gravy to it. What's this, what is this that you're adding? Get that leaf. Get your leaves? I just like to use leaves because that's what I'm doing. Saint Eve. Saint Eve? Yeah. You guys go to your, your 
I'm sorry guys, I wasn't able to videotape it, but it's so good. This morning I'm having, well this afternoon, since this is the next day, I'm having it with some rice. So, it's so good guys. Everything is just perfectly paired. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned and enjoy some bloopers. <laughs> Let me get an order at the kitchen, you always play, okay? <laughs> I didn't videotape what happened there because, you know, it was a whole situation. Enjoy it. So, you know, we do